Welcome to Streaming the Legs. My name is Mr. Orange. Welcome to the Steam Weekend video. And before we jump into all this craziness with Mana Lords, which is just now finally available in the early access, we always have the quick look at the Epic Game Store. There you can see Industrial and Lisa, the definitive edition are free to keep, free to keep uh, for this week. And the next week, we're going to have Orcs Must Die. Fox must die, my friends. All right, let's head to Steam. And I would say we jump directly into the first game before we go to the further game. So there's some very good stuff, actually, like a weekend deal on Aliens Fire Team. But no, 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 my friends. So we're checking out now Mana Lots first. Mana Lots, very positive rated already, came out uh, today, 26th of April. And we already have 158,000 people that are online right now. So Slavic Magic and Hooded Horse. Slavic Magic and Hooded Horse. This game is going to be released in early access. I think I said this already. Oh, Mr. Orange, listen to yourself. <laughs> And uh, yeah, let's let's open the trailer. We can look at the trailer. So I think I played already a demo of this game. So I really, really enjoyed this. Uh, it's, it's it's not one of the easy games. So it's a way, it's it's a bit more a difficult uh, uh, base building game. So it's a bit like uh, Ban Banish. I think it was Banish uh, where, where people were <laughs> kind of dying like flies. Uh, so, so you really have to take care to, to take the right decision. So uh, I'm going also to read myself a little bit more into it if the game is actually not too difficult but what is amazing about this game it has this great graphics this great graphics and this really this amazing uh, this amazing style let's say this amazing amazing medieval style so and you can go everywhere in the first person and here you can see even your city is going to be attacked all right so let's let the trailer be the trailer and let's uh, scroll a little bit through it so 30 years 25 percent down this is the intro introductory offer the introductory offer and yeah nice game pleasant graphic sound design i can rebuild skeletons now we are in the year of the small developer makes a masterpiece a masterpiece that beats triple a games we definitely can confirm by now small indie games are 100 making better games <laughs> so people like it that's important important so like banisher but uh, better graphics better graphics so Alrighty guys, so that's it. Let's jump in or let's continue. Let's continue to see some other games. So we have the special of, of Aliens Fire Team. We have the Wicked Deal. We have Monster Hunter Rise. We can deal Finding Paradise. We can deal Make Make Way wherever we can deal. We can check this out very quickly. Not going to lose too much of your time on some of those games. So the Steam World franchise sales we have to check out. And we have the Activision Blizzard sale. Uh, I think we also should check out. And we have a Call of Duty sale. And then we have a Final Fantasy sale. Oh, that's also pretty nice. So <laughs> a lot of interesting games. Then we have a Nordic Ashes Survivor Ragnarok. That's pretty cool. Uh, Sandland. We have Sandland. Top Spin 2K25. I think I have to talk about this. And we have Forewarned uh, version 1.0. One point oh is now live. We are supported title. Another crap's treasure. We have Werewolf the Apocalypse now. So I think I have to cover this game. Man a lot here already. Bell Ride. Yeah, I think I also need to cover Bell Ride. Dead Island. Uh, we need to quickly talk about it. And then we have the popular upcoming games, my friends. The popular upcoming games. So you see already something. Uh, Tomb Explorer VR. Yeah, nah. Thank you. <laughs> Not so interested in this. Let bions be by goods. This looks cool. Let's check it out. And then we have a, a more an indie title. So, and Persona 5 Royal also on sale. All right, let's jump directly in it. Alien Fire Teams. Alien Fire Teams. 799 people are still online. I love this game. I played it a lot. Nine euros. I can totally recommend it, my friends. If you have a VR headset, you can even download. Uh, an app and played with the VR headset and I recommend you to definitely also get the ultimate edition and get the DLC then Monster Hunter Rise yeah that's the golden Capcom week I think I have to talk it about directly so demo there 75% down 10 euros people still over 7,000 people play this game right now very positively rated came out in 22 came out in 22 quite old ah, the Capcom golden week sale uh, there you have it Resident Evil 4 for 
third heroes. Then we have some Mega Man games, Ace Attorney Trilogy. We have Monster Hunter games, of course. And then we have the upcoming games, Monster Hunter Worlds. We have Kunitsugami Path of Goddess Monster Hunter Stories pre-purchase as well. And if I scroll down, a lot of Resident Evil games, a lot of cheaper, of course, the Street Fighter game collection, the, the Capcom, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom games. Animusha, still eight years. I want this game for five years because it's a classic. I mean, I own this game on several other platforms, so I want it cheaper. Remember me, if you don't know this game, it's a great game. Minus 80%, 559. Classic like uh, DuckTales was always good. Strider, I liked a lot. Lost Planet games were really good. It's so sad that we will never get Lost Planet 2 on Steam. So they will never bring it back, Dead Rising games. I think the Dead Rising games are actually even not available in Germany. If you're from Germany, Gunitsugami Path of the Goddess Tower Defense game. It's going to be a tower defense. That's interesting. I remember seeing the, the trailer of this game. So uh, no one was really... Uh, no one really knew what this is going to be. So now it's going to be a tower defense. All right. It looks super crazy. Comes at 24. Comes at 24. Monster Hunter Wilds also comes at 25, even a little bit later. So I'm going to have a closer look at this since I play a Dragon Stockman at the moment that I enjoy a lot. So I could imagine actually that this game uh, bought it. It's, it's going to be a Monster Hunter. So I think I have to get a little bit more back into the Monster Hunter games that I might, that I played a bit, but not really, not really a lot. So. Then we have Monster Hunter Stories coming now in June 24. So it's like Monster Hunters, but just a little bit cuter. And then we have Finding Paradise. Yeah, Finding Paradise. Yeah, we over already with the Capcom cell, overwhelming positive. Yeah, 195. Ah, it's one of those pixel graphic titles. Then we have Make Way. We're also very positive, rated 9 euros, so probably a little bit expensive. Oh, it's like a Micro Machines game. It's like a Micro Machines game, my friends. Who doesn't like the good old Micro Machine games? Steam World, Steam World, wonderful publishing. The company really has a lot of issues right now. So if you want to help this company to survive, if you want to help this company to survive, then consider buying actually one of one or more of their games. So uh, yeah, and even Steam Heist, Steam World Heist 2 is coming soon. So, so for example, I liked Steam World Quest. I thought this was fun. The Steam World Dig and Steam World Dig 2, I didn't really play a lot. But they also have Planet of Lana, they have The Gun, they have Wave Tail, and they have Leica. So really, guys, if you want this company to survive and continue making games, consider buying one or another. The Activision publisher sale. Here it is. I totally forgot. That this was going on so of course he has secured died twice <laughs> what shall i say this game is so difficult this game is way too difficult for me i think secure die twice is a game they have to make easier for people like me <laughs> call of duty classic 45 call of duty black ops 3 20 euros and then the older call all of the older call of duty is also like oh 20 24 20 euro 34 35 so you will see they are all like super negatively rated but that's normal with call of duty so if you don't have the call of duty games here you go crash Bandicoot 4 that's a game i'm looking forward to but i need a better sale than 20 years because i know myself already that i'm probably just putting it in my backlog then i shouldn't buy it if i just put it in my backlog i shouldn't buy the game i guess <laughs> then we have some older games as well so call of duty modern warfare Ah, Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate. So here we have a Square Enix Golden Week. So, oh, I see actually all of those, uh, all of the Japanese uh, sellers have like Golden Weeks. So I should have made a video about Golden Weeks. So, <laughs> Square Enix Golden Week sell Octopath Traveler 40%, uh, Near Automa 60%, Getting Better, Final Fantasy 50%, Trials of Mana 50%, Near Replicant 60%, Chrono Trigger 50%, that's cool, that's the original one. Chrono Trigger, Chrono Trigger, Trials of Mana, Legend of Mana 50, 50%, still, still, still a little bit pricey, those games are a lot of older, older, uh, the Final Fantasy games, Dragon Quest, Dragon Quest games, Secret of Mana games, 20 euros. Look, this this Secret of Mana game, that's still 20 euros. That's 
still pricey, so Square Enix are still expensive games, but they have beautiful franchises, so many franchises, so therefore I can only say respect to Square Enix. Top Spin 2K25, mixed review, 3,700 people are online right now, 60 euros, of course, Game Girls came out, is by 2K Games, hmm, I don't know. Are you in the mood for a tennis game, for a new tennis game? I think I like the Mario Tennis, the Virtual Tennis, so those were my games, so I'm not really in the mood now for some new tennis game, but hey, if you like it, why not get it? Forewarned 647, now finally out in the version 1. You see, version 1 then finally gets so much cheaper, because people, that's, a, that's the problem with early access, my friend, so at one point people just stop playing games, and then the version 1 comes out, and then they get a little bit of publicity, but then more or less it means the game is dead. Afterwards, Werewolf the Apocalypse. Oh, that's just an RPG, <laughs> uh, text RPG. So 15 years of text RPG, are you crazy? No, not interested. Bell Ride, Bell Ride, mostly positive already. So by Snail Games, don't you know Snail Games? Snail Games are the dudes that make uh, the art games. And I have to say, Bell Ride also looks extremely interesting. Again, survival title, a bit in the, in the, in the dark medieval times, like Mana Lords. So that seems to be very popular right now. People like their medieval games, their Witcher games. They just people like this, just this, this kind of a uh, uh, kind of uh, epoch kind of times so, uh, uh, for 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 games. So it's very very easy going. So a bit like Kingdom Come deliver it so yeah why not 7500 people are online right now that's not so much when a lot has more obviously then that island 2 came out i bought it for myself i don't understand the mixed reviews so i'm playing at the moment dragon stock 2 but the moment i i finish this i'm going to play uh, that island 2 to finish it i think the graphics is incredible nice and it's actually really nice and playable so good game by deep silver the Buster studios that beyonds by Begoon, so some extra games no one ever heard about. So <laughs> comes the 30th of April, Foot Gun on the Ground, Turtle Night Games, Copper Echo Games. What's a game most mostly you have never heard about this? So some indie games. Well, there are so many indie games, I guess. I guess we should <laughs> lose so much time with them. Alright, so if I go to Steam Data, uh, Steam Database, and I'm just going to um, yeah, here I have the sites with the best rating. Then we see Ori and the Wilds, 67%. So here you see still some interesting games. So let's actually look for the price. No, we don't have any free games, as I can see. So if you look for the highest percentage, like slash it, uh, 90, 97%, but has a price, has a price of 848. Now, yeah, come on, that, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. Steam World Highs here, 1 euro 4. Steam will dig, 89 cents. Again, someone complained that I repeat this, but I think sometimes it's useful to repeat again a little bit what is on Steam database to get an idea again what deals are going on. The Suicide of Rage Frosta was an okay game, 90% is good. Model Combat 11, 5 euros. Cost of Flipper, 189. NK Sci-Fi Post Apocalyptic American Fugitive. We have Shemu for three. You receive them later. And Justice Hot Hot Shot Racing. We have. Oh, yeah, guys, you see, there are actually some games with some very interesting uh, deals. And if we go on the on the rating, then we look for the games with the highest rating. For example, Resident Evil Village, sixty percent secure. I had Devil May Cry, of course. We had uh, the nightmares, no more drift, trying to dust like a drag, and you see a lot of beautiful games, guys. All right, with that, I'm leaving it here. So I hope you're going to enjoy this week. Maybe you're going to play Mana Lord. So write it, write it down below in the commentary section if you bought Mana Lords, if you're planning to buy Mana Lords. And with that, see you next time. Bye bye.